What is going on, everybody? It's Medicosis Perfectionist, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our immunology playlist. In the last two videos, we started talking about type 1 hypersensitivity reaction, type 2 hypersensitivity reaction. Today, I will introduce you to King Arthur, the Arthur's reaction, in type 3 hypersensitivity reaction. With that said, now let's get started. Hypersensitivity, type 1, type 2, type 3, type 4, type 1, immediate, but type 4 is delayed, okay? How about type 2? Cytotoxic, look at this, type 2 is cytotoxic, and type 3, you have free antibodies. What do you mean by free? I mean the antibodies are floating in the plasma, they are floating in your blood. They are not bound to cells. They are not cyto like type 1. Also, you can describe type 3 by three words. Serum immune complexes. Hypersensitivity. Which one is the fastest? Type 1. Which one is the slowest? Type 4. Can you describe type 1 in few words? Sure. Immediate. Anaphylactic. IgE. Mast cells. They rupture. Pew. They degranulate. Pew. Releasing histamine. And histamine can give you the symptoms of an anaphylactic shock. How about type 2? Cy2 toxic. What do you mean? I mean, I have antibodies. Okay. These antibodies are bound to antigens. Okay. And this happens on the surface of the cell. The cell is the Cy2. That's why type 2 is Cy2 toxic. Okay. How about type 3? 3 is free. You have antigens and antibody complexes. Same as 2? Yeah, but with one difference. The big difference is this happens in the blood. And after this, since they are hanging around in the blood, the antigen-antibody complex can end up being deposited in the blood, causing vasculitis, in your joints, causing arthritis, in your kidney, causing nephritis, etc, etc, etc. In type 1, type 2, type 3, we talked about antibodies like IgE, like the antibody that is cytotoxic, like the antibody that's freely floating in the blood. But type 4 has nothing to do with antibodies. Type 4 has nothing to do with the humoral immune system. Type 4 is about T lymphocytes, cell-mediated immunity. No antibodies? Heck no. The T lymphocytes are super sophisticated. They communicate with each other via cytokines, which include the interleukins, which is the internet of the leukocytes. This is also the story of making a granuloma, and this takes time. Here is a quick overview of the four types of hypersensitivity. Type 1, immediate, okay, within minutes, all right? Hemoral immunity, which means I'll see antibodies, yes such as IgE, immediate, hemoral, preformed antibodies. Remember, IgE is ew. What do you mean by ew? Allergy, anaphylaxis, atopy, asthma, eosinophilia, ew, bee sting, ew. How about type 2? Type 2 is cytotoxic, okay? We have an antigen-antibody complex. We're on the surface of the cell, and these antibodies could inhibit the target most of the time, or they could stimulate the target in one case only. That's why some crazy textbooks define this specific type as type 5 hypersensitivity. But this is a very bizarre classification that only lasted for 5 minutes, and then they went back to classifying hypersensitivity as four types. Can they inhibit the target? Sure, they can cause inflammation and cell dysfunction. Inflammation is seen in anti-glomerular basement membrane antibody disease, also known as good pasture syndrome, rheumatic fever, hyperacute transplant rejection. This is how your body rejects organs. Or they can cause cell dysfunction, such as myasthenia gravis and pemphigus vulgaris. My muscles are in trouble, my skin is toast. They stimulate the target organ only in one case, which is the case of grave disease. I have antibodies against the receptor. Okay, what kind of receptor? This is the receptor waiting for the TSH. So it's called the TSH receptor. Okay, but these antibodies will come and stimulate the target. Have you ever heard of antibodies that stimulate the target? No, antibodies are weapons of destruction. Now, this is an exception. These are antibodies that stimulate the target. Leading to what? Well, it's as if TSH is binding to its receptor. Oh, so a similar effect? Yeah. What does TSH do? It tells the thyroid gland to secrete tons of thyroid hormone. So Graves' disease, in a sense, is a type 2 hypersensitivity reaction. Okay, 
How about type 3? Type 3 is also antigen-antibody complex in a different location, floating freely in the plasma, okay? This is the cause of serum sickness, which is a diffuse and acute reaction, or the Arthas reaction. It's not diffuse, it's very localized in one spot on your skin, and it's not that acute. Arthas is subacute. Serum sickness is generalized, Arthas is localized. Serum sickness is acute, Arthas is subacute and subcutaneous. Love it. Subacute, subcutaneous. Type 3 is also the tragic story of the nasty immune mediated vasculitis when these antigen antibody get deposited into the wall of the vessel. This is vasculitis. They can also get stuck into your kidney. This is called immune complex mediated nephritis or into your joints immune complex arthritis this is what happens in lupus this is what happens in rheumatoid arthritis and gazillion other diseases how about type 4 type 4 is the most delayed three days or about 72 hours or slightly less slightly more this is cell mediated i'm not gonna send antibodies to destroy no i myself i'm gonna go and kill that bacteria face to face. I'm gonna have a strong word with this tuberculosis face to face, cell to cell, cell mediated or cellular immunity. If I can kill the stupid invader, I will destroy it. How will you destroy it? Well, we are T lymphocytes, we have T cyto toxic cells, we kill. Okay. But if I can't kill it, well, at least I can surround it in a granuloma. This granuloma can have caseous necrosis, such as the caseating granuloma of tuberculosis, histoplasmosis, blastomycosis, coccidioidomycosis, or it could be non-caseating, basically any other granuloma is going to be non-caseating, a famous example is sarcoidosis. How to make a granuloma is a story that we'll talk about soon, but basically CD4 T lymphocytes will secrete interferon gamma, which will stimulate the macrophages to make the granuloma. Let's review type 1. What's that? First exposure and second exposure. The second exposure is subdivided into early phase and late phase. Examples include asthma, atopy, anaphylaxis, bee sting. How about type 2? It is Psi 2 toxic. We have the complement story and the no complement story. Complement story could be IgM or IgG. And we have examples, rheumatic fever, anti-glomerular basement membrane antibody, aka good pasture syndrome, hyperacute organ transplant rejection. The no complement has two sub-stories. The antibody dependent, cell-mediated cytotoxicity. Examples here include autoimmune, hemolytic anemia, autoimmune, thrombocytopenia, and hemolytic disease of the newborn. Or it could be antibodies against cell surface receptor. If you are inhibiting the receptor, like most cases, an example here is Mycenae gravis. Or you could be stimulating the target, such as in Graves' disease. Next, we have type 3 hypersensitivity reaction. If you remember my videos on rheumatoid arthritis, I've told you about the story. We have a rheumatoid factor. What's that? It's IgM antibody against the FC portion of IgG. Okay. This is an antibody against an antibody. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. In this case, the IgM is acting as the antibody. The IgG is acting as if it's an antigen. But this is your own antigen. That's why in rheumatoid you are destroying your own body, not the body of a foreigner. Antigen antibody complex are floating freely in the circulation. When it's free, it's type 3. These are not bound to cell surface. And the end result is deposition into tissues. If they get deposited into the vessel wall, they cause vasculitis. Into joints, they cause immune complex mediated arthritis. Immune complex mediated nephritis. Stop wondering why do we have skin involvement in cases of rheumatoid, lupus, scleroderma, etc. It's here, baby. Moreover, this antigen antibody complex that's floating freely in the circulation can activate the classical complement pathway and giving you the famous C5A, which is famous for chemotaxis, which means neutrophils are coming, causing all kinds of inflammation. Do you remember fibrinoid necrosis in pathology? Yeah, this is deposition of antigen antibody complexes into vessel walls. That's why you see fibrinoid necrosis with rheumatoid, with lupus, with scleroderma, etc. Tell me more about type 3 antigen antibody complex in the circulation. Could be a generalized reaction all over the body, 
or it could be a localized reaction such as King Arthur. King Arthur is very local. The generalized type has two subtypes. The first one, it's not your doctor's fault. That's the story of the autoimmune disease such as rheumatoid or lupus. Or it could be your doctor's fault. Hashtag serum sickness reaction. You had a disease. Your doctor injected you with another serum from another body, could be the body of a human, a horse, or recently made in the lab. Why did my doctor inject me with these antibodies? Because you had a disease. These antibodies were supposed to help your immune system. Okay. They can help your immune system, but everything has a trade-off. Like what? You developed your own antibodies against the foreign antibodies ending with an antigen antibody complex that's floating freely in the circulation ends up depositing into tissues activating the complements hypocomplementemia and you get all kinds of generalized symptoms contrast this generalized serum sickness reaction caused by the anti-serum with the localized arthas reaction Serum sickness reaction is generalized, arthus is localized. Serum sickness reaction is acute, arthus is subacute and subcutaneous. Someone injected me with something subcutaneously or intradermally. What happened? The problem is I was already pre-sensitized. Oh, you were sensitized to the same antigen before? Yes. And now with this exposure, I developed a small, localized, subacute, subcutaneous or intradermal lesion. This is the Arthur's reaction. Hey, medicosis, uh, like five years ago, I got my flu shot and after that, I developed a localized red skin lesion. What's that? That's your Arthur's reaction. Do you remember serum sickness reaction? Yep, there is something similar called not serum sickness reaction, but serum sickness like reaction. Oh, Okay, medicosis, first let me tell you what I know about the serum sickness reaction. It is type 3 hypersensitivity reaction. It's a generalized acute reaction caused by my stupid doctor, right? Very close. Serum sickness-like reaction is kind of similar but not the same. It's not caused by the anti-serum or the serum containing the antibodies. It's caused by infections or drugs such as hepatitis B virus or medications such as penicillin or monoclonal antibodies, causing similar symptoms such as urticaria, arthralgia, proteinuria, fever. This is the serum sickness-like reaction. Let's add clinical examples. Type 3, the generalize. If it's not your doctor's fault, this is the story of the fibrinoid necrosis, immune complex mediated, vasculitis, nephritis, arthritis, etc. That's lupus and rheumatoid arthritis. Serum sickness reaction is generalized and acute, and this is the reaction to receiving an anti serum, which means serum that has antibodies. These are not your own antibodies. Localized type 3 hypersensitivity is the Arthas reaction, which means sub acute, which means localized. This is post-vaccine skin reaction. If you like this video, you will adore my renal physiology course available at medicosisperfectionaries.com. Comes with 10 videos, 10 cases with notes, of course. I also have an endocrine pharmacology course. Learn everything you need to know about insulin, the different types of insulin, how to calculate the dose of insulin, and much more. And for a limited time, get a 60% discount towards everything on my website just by using promo code New Year Learning at checkout. In the next video, we'll talk about type 4. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense.